Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing the sparkling versions of some of the Nestle regional brands. I was able to get these four main ones, and then I could only get the flavored version of Pull and Spring, and I was not able to find Zephyr Hills. But I think this is a pretty good comparison. So let's just start by opening them up. I've got a trash box right here because the sparkling waters tend to explode. Oh boy. Okay, good. It bubbled. It's, that was a lot of bubbles. Jeez. And I want to point out, isn't this weird? These all have, like, light-colored lids, and then Arrowhead is the only one with a dark-colored lid. Like, what's up with that? Um, next up, Deer Park. Please do not explode all over the place. Good. Wow, holy crap. This is still bubbling, and this is already done. This has... Arrowhead has so many more bubbles than Deer Park. It's crazy. Here's Ozarka from Texas. Holy crap, look how much bubbles are in Arrowhead. It's still bubbling. Okay, Ice Mountain. This one has the least so far, I think. And then the Poland Springs, this is Lime. This has less. I mean, Arrowhead is still bubbling more than Poland Springs. And Poland Springs, Raspberry Lime. Look at that, no bubbles! Like, this is... Look how many bubbles this has! That is crazy. Like, these are supposed to be sparkling waters, but there's no bubbles for some reason. Okay, so now let's uh, do a pH test. Here, guys, look at this. It took me a couple minutes to set up this pH test, but some of these bottles are still bubbling up. Like, I'm really impressed with how uh, bubbly these are minutes after I opened them. Okay, so we're going to go pH test. I don't know if it even matters if people care about the pH test for the sparkling waters, but here we go. Here is Poland Spring with Raspberry Lime. Poland Spring with Lime. Ice Mountain. Ozarka. Deer Park. And Arrowhead. Here's the chart. What do you guys think the pH is for all of these waters? It's slightly different between them. All right, guys, we're back over here, and this is pretty crazy. Some of these waters are still bubbling up. Like, it's like been minutes since I've opened these, and they're still bubbling up. So let's do a taste test. Let's start with Arrowhead. I don't really like the taste. But I don't like sparkling waters. That's why I don't like the taste. If you liked sparkling waters and you wanted a strong sparkling water, you would probably love this because it's, like, so carbonated. If you love a strong sparkling water, you'd probably, like, just absolutely love this when it first opened because it was so bubbly. Here's Deer Park. Tastes the same to me. When I compared... Ozarka and Zephyr Hills, the still versions, there was definitely a difference, but so far these taste the same. Yeah, tastes the same. Nice mountain. Yep, really tastes the same. I intentionally did the still ones first. So the flavors, like, don't contaminate them in my mouth. Here's Poland Springs with the lime. <sighs> yeah. Tastes just how you'd expect, like lime. Here's raspberry lime. Tastes pretty good. It says it uses natural flavors for these. Not, like, from a laboratory or something like that. So, here's the thing. 
This is a tough decision for me because actually I prefer the taste of the lime. If I had to pick one of these to drink all of right now, I would go with this lime one because I just prefer that flavor. But I prefer these four because they're the most like water and I like water. Um, and these don't have any added ingredients. These, these only have two ingredients. These have three ingredients. And also these two had the least carbonation and I don't like carbonation, but it's like false advertising for them to say that they're carbonated and then to have so few bubbles. So I'm going to just eliminate these two. This is kind of a tough, <laughs> tough comparison because they're all so similar. Um, yeah, Nestle has these regional brands and they sell these in different parts of the country. And I did a comparison of the still versions of the regional brands. And that's actually like one of my most viewed videos that people keep coming back to. I think people search for these regional brands to find out why they do this. And that's why I keep getting views on that video because people were like, don't understand why they're all so similar and yet also different. Like all the labels are the same. And I want to point this out. The, the lid on this one is different. What they should have done is made the still versions all have white lids and then had colored lids to represent the flavors like yellow for lime, orange for orange. You get my idea. And then if you're in a store, it'd be easy to differentiate between them. But instead, for some random reason, they make Arrowhead's lid a different color. Like, were they just out of colors at the factory or something? I don't, I don't understand. That's weird. So, like I said, these really all taste the same to me. So, how do I make this decision? Um, Ozarka's, like, label is coming off. Um, so I guess that's a reason for me to eliminate it. Just a stupid reason, because it's probably just the fault of Walmart, where I got this from. It's probably not the fart. The, <laughs> the fart. The, the fault of Nestle, the, the label's coming off. Um, next up, I'm just going to eliminate Deer Park, just because I personally, <laughs> I don't like the name. Um, when I think of deers in a park... When it comes to water, I think of deer as peeing into a lake or stream or something. It just kind of puts a bad, like, you know, image in my mind. In my mind, and um, so I'm gonna eliminate it because of that. Normally, I taste I base it on the taste, but because they all taste the same, I'm deciding on other factors. Yeah. Again, they taste identical. If I was blindfolded, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So I'm just going to say that the winner is Arrowhead. Just because it was bubbling so much, like it's crazy that it lasted so long. Um, so congratulations, Arrowhead. Most people don't like Nestle. Like, There's a lot of people on, online who just hate them as a company because... They're like a monopoly, kind of, and they have so many different brands. If I combined all the flavors, all the varieties, like, you have Sparkling and Still, you have all six regional brands, you have tons and tons of different flavors and Still versions, and um, everything. They have different packaging sizes. They have, like, singles... Six packs, 12 packs, 24 packs of all their different waters. There's probably close to a thousand different versions of all the Nestle waters. And the regional brands are not their only ones. They also have Nestle Pure Life and like tons and tons of, I think Aquapana is one of their brands. They have so many brands. It's just crazy to keep track of. So I'm not going to go through all their sparkling flavored versions. Let's just consider this done um, for these regional sparkling flavored bottles, okay? So, yeah. Arrowhead is the winner and it's moving on to round two. Thanks for watching, everyone.
It's very bubbly. 